But today, astronomers uh, have estimated that the universe that we live in today consists of uh, over 500 billion galaxies. And each galaxy contains about uh, 100 billion stars. And the nearest galaxy, you know, uh, we know today is the Milky Way galaxy, which is the one that we belong to. It has an area of about, you know, 1,000 light years. You know, and a light year is six trillion miles. That is a very staggering number. It's so very, you know, excruciating. It's unbelievable. Wow. So therefore, the human intellect is left with no option but to accept that this is no self-organized system. It couldn't have come by itself. There's got to be a primary mover who move all this thing and set it up into place. And we say it's God Almighty. Because if there is creation, there must be a creator. And that is exactly what it is. The primary mover who himself is not bound with the laws of nature. And so therefore, this is God Almighty that we believe that. Because this thing couldn't have come by itself. I mean, it's, you know, science always talk about the chaotic situation. Albert Einstein also said that, you know, we have to believe in the quantums of today. In, you know, uh, 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 in the fact that based upon, you know, uh, the theory of relativity that, uh, you know, the heaven the heavenly ornaments and what we see as galaxies and stars and huge bodies of uh, creation in the universe could not have come by itself. There's got to be someone who put it in place. And he said, uh, whoever created all this thing is a great mathematician. <laughs> he said, whoever, because he realized that this thing could not happen by itself. It couldn't happen by chance. Chance does not have, you know, intellect to organize such an intricate situation like this. And the Quran said, Inna fi halki samawat wal ard wa fi layl wa nahar la ayatin li ulul albab. Allazina yazkuruna la haki yaman wa kuudan wa ala junubihim wa yitafakkaruna fi halki samawat wal ard. Rabbana ma khalak takhaza batila subhanaka fakinna azab al nar. Wow, this is wonderful. Imagine this information coming from over 1,400 years ago, you know, in the Arabian desert. Who could have made this statement if not Gar al-Mahdi himself? So it is Allah or Gar al-Mahdi who gave it to the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to showcase that this Quran came from Allah. It couldn't have come from any human being. The figment of our imagination could not quantify this information. Elsewhere, Allah said, وَمَا قَدَّرَ اللَّهُ حَقَّ قَدَرِهِ وَالْعَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْلَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتِ مَأْوِيَاتٌ بِيَمِينِهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى عَمَّا شِرِكُونَ You know, you can quantify Allah's creation. Try as much as you can. With your telescope, go to the heaven and this and that and this and that. Science have not reached 5% of the universe. Nay, 2%. They have not reached that yet. You know, and so Allah said, you can't quantify Allah's creation. You can't know the exact meaning of Allah's weight in terms of knowledge. He said the heaven and earth and all these galaxies, you know, would be in his right hand in the day of judgment. Not left and right. In his right hand. I mean, it's something, nothing. It's absolutely zero. So if you think this is very excruciating understanding in terms of, you know, the PowerPoint of uh, knowledge, Come to yourself and look at the way God created you. The creation of yourself, can't you look at it and see? You know, so if you look with objective, you know, uh, 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 understanding and open mind, you would come to understand the beauty of Allah's creation. And in that we say, God Almighty is the one that created everything. He did that from the time that he willed that it should be known to mankind. That is one of the miracles of Quran, making us to understand what science is saying today. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.